What's up again, everybody? We've got some absolutely crazy news to talk about, so let's go through it. The WizKids Rules Forum posted today about the rare wrecker ability and clarified that it does indeed affect actions as well as characters. If a card with a global is not present in the field while wrecker is active, then that global cannot be used, period, end of story. This confirmation solidifies this card's power level, and depending on how the meta turns with globals, it may see some steady play. In other news, about a week ago, WizKids showed off some spoilers from the upcoming Avengers Infinity set. The pictures are a bit difficult to make out, but it looks like we can expect a 3-drop wasp with a 3-4 topside, the attune keyword, which is one of my personal favorites, and the text of when you use an attune, wasp gains plus 2 plus 2 until the end of the turn. That looks to be a very strong card upon release, unless something in set counters direct damage. Next is Arnim Zola, which is a 2-cost with a 1-3-4 topside, and a nice little ability that allows you to pay 1 energy to keep him from being KO'd. Instead, you just place him on his level 1 side, which is a 2-3, a great stat line for 2. Here we also see Black Panther, which is a 5-drop with what looks like either a 6-2 or an 8-2 on top. I'm assuming that it is an 8-2 since that would match the stat line from the UXM set. And his ability gives him plus 1, plus 1 per opposing villain, which isn't the flashiest or really most powerful thing in the world. The Kree Invasion team pack was also on display, and here we see that we have a 2-drop Kree soldier with the villain affiliation, an 0 one 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 two. 122 stat line if I'm reading that right and both the swarm and infiltrate keywords. This looks like a really good card that fits the villain meta very nicely. The Kree Captain shown is a 3 drop with swarm and a global that says pay 2 fists once per turn the next character die you purchase this turn costs I think it's 2 less to a minimum of 1 or maybe 3 less but it looks like a 2 less. So I want to hear from you guys how do you plan on using this global to take advantage of its maximum value what do you plan on doing with this what do you see that could be pretty cool to do with this global. The Supreme Intelligence card turns out to have Fabricate, as I mentioned in a news video from a month ago, but it also has this nice little caveat below it that lets you put Supreme Intelligence into the bag if you fabricated some Kree characters. It also has this global that allows you to move two drops from your used to your prep, which is very cool. WizKids also revealed some cards from the Justice Like Lightning team pack due out later this year, and all of those cards revealed our flip variants, so it's nice to see flip is maintaining its presence within the Dice Masters scene. As for what these cards actually do, some of them you can kind of make out some words, but I'm not going to sit here and speculate and try to pick out words. If you can tell what these say though, let me know in the comments below. I am excited for these upcoming sets now more than ever before, and I can't wait to see what these new cards will do and how they will affect and shape the new meta. Speaking of new meta, WizKids dropped a double bombshell today by both announcing the new modern rotation and a ban. So here it is. As of June 1st, everything from Deadpool and before will officially be Become Golden Age. That means chronologically from the TMNT Heroes and a Half Shell set forward is modern legal and everything before that is gone. War of Light, Golden Age. Amazing Spider-Man, Golden Age. Faerun Under Siege, Golden Age. World's Finest, Golden Age. Civil War, Golden Age. TMNT First Set, Golden Age. Green Arrow and Flash, Golden Age. Doctor Strange Team Pack, Golden Age. And finally the Deadpool set as well, Golden Age. All of them are gone. I expected a cut to Green Arrow and the Flash due to the reprints of the energy fixers, but I did not expect Deadpool to make the list. That being said, I'm just fine with Deadpool getting the axe. Less sets in the meta means more opportunity for newly printed cards and abilities to see play. If that news wasn't enough, WizKids also announced a modern age ban of Rare Cosmic Cube, which for many was a welcome sight. I will be honest, when I read that they banned Cube, I let out an audible cheer in my office and got a few questioning glances from my colleagues. I love that cube and I love what it can do for casual teams, but for the price of killing the meta, it was just too high, and so I'm glad to see it go rather than any sort of errata stuff. This ban combined with rotation as well as the shift to LCG spells great things in my opinion for the game and its growth. Less sets to catch up on for newer players, less toxic power creep cards, and an easy to buy in format should mean that the game sees a lot of growth in the coming months. So good on you WizKids for making choices towards these rotations and cube bans. We'll see how it plays out in the coming weeks and months. So that's it. That's all for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, I'll see you guys next time.